What up, you lab rats? This is episode number 55, and today is just for fun. We're doing the 36 question tag on how to fall in love. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the lab. My name is Megan. And I'm Kevin. And let's get, get in, in the lab. lab. All right. So uh, we have a special guest on camera. We got Steve over there. From Steve Drummer. <laughs> or Steve Drummer. what is... Let's give a shout what? out. What is Steven, right? What is Steven? What is Steven Drummer? Steven is what? Steven is what? Oh, Steven oh, is what? We lost that <laughs> one. <laughs> well, check uh, him out. Anyway, yeah. Real natural drummer. Uh, we'll throw up the clip right here. And uh, yeah. Impressive, dude. Very Started impressive. Started when he was six? Yeah. Three. How do you yeah. drum at three? I guess I was like, he was on my lap and I was just like, <laughs> <Drumming on bread. laughs> holding his hands and I'm like, hey, here you Oops. go. You're drumming at three. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. cool. Cool. Yeah. It's a, it's going to be a full house in here because you're going to WPPI tomorrow. Yeah. And a bunch of um, my cousins coming down, your cousins coming down. You guys are all going to go. It's going to be like a guy's thing to <laughs> WPPI. <laughs> and uh, in case you guys didn't know, WPPI is? It is a wedding photographer convention. Yep. And basically it's sort of like NMX and how you have um, podcasters or speakers that you like to follow that will be presenting there and talking about uh, strategic business. Yep. Um, so for wedding photography conventions, just promoting new products about like photographing equipment yep. as well as probably learning or just being inspired by other photographers, um, all around the world, just not in the States. Are you going to like see people speak and crap or are you just no. doing the exhibit? Yeah, I'm just oh. doing the exhibit. I'm just walking around the booth, um, just following other people people that been to WPPI many yeah. times and they're just going to show me the ropes. Cool. 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 Yeah. So, um, we totally were recording this episode and then I hit, I didn't hit like record, so it didn't capture a whole bunch of crap. So <laughs> this is round two, but anyway, uh, like I said, we're going to be answering, uh, doing the little experiment of the 36 questions it takes to fall in love. And this is an actual thing. You can find it in the link in the description so you can try it yourself. But uh, we had already answered a couple of them, but we're just going to skip around. Yeah. Right. Uh, we'll start. We'll start at number. Well, maybe we won't skip around. We'll just continue on from here because people will. It's all right. It's all right. So uh, let's start at. The last question was, did you have a secret hunch about how you will die? Uh, yeah, no. Well, the way I thought was that if I had a really good dream yep. and I'll stay within that dream and that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <you> had a <laughs> nice dream and then just like stay there forever. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, oh, yes. We were on number uh, question number eight. Uh, name three things the two of you have in common. You um, said, impatient. Impatient. Yeah. <laughs> We're hustlers when we need to be. Yep. And we don't procrastinate. Yep. That's it. Now we're organized. <laughs> That's three. We're organized. Oh, yeah. That was three. Okay. Uh, on my side, <laughs> let's see. Um, um, I, I would say we're both introverted. In some ways. In some ways. In most ways. I just, I have a, I have a, this thing that I can turn it on for, yeah. but you, you don't really have that thing. You, you do, but it's called photography. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but I would say on a, on a normal day when we're not doing anything, we're both very introverted. Yeah. Third thing would be, we both like tech. Mm -hmm. We both like techie stuff. You probably more than me, but we do both like techie stuff. Um, and then third, we, we are still... I, I feel we're still we're still very like childlike, <laughs> which I think is good. I yeah. think you, you should retain that kind of playful thing about you as a couple. If you get too serious, it's boring. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, number nine. For what in your life do you feel most grateful? Um, I'm very what? What are you grateful for? <laughs> well, I'm grateful for being able to make a decision in college that I found what I was passionate in. I'm grateful that I met Megan in college. Yay. Because <laughs> without her, <laughs> yeah, I, am no, I won't, college yeah, I won't be that. here yeah. for, um, yeah, I think, yeah, that was yeah. a big thing. I always kind of dock college. I'm like, meh, hey, college, meh. It but was, that's where I met college you. is for connections. 
mm-hmm. and connections can become into relationships and it can influence each other in some ways. And yeah, it was just a part of the life experience. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I'm grateful for, cause I lost my place right now. Oh, it's right here. Okay. What I'm grateful for. Yeah. Is this life and the ability to, cause I have, I feel like I have so much time to take advantage of because essentially our business supports me and, uh, it got dark in here. Steve, are we looking good on the camera? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's not too dark. Um, that, you know, you're able to support us with the photography business mm. and, and I get to do what I'm good at. Yeah. You know, so many, I think so many people, they have to like, they have to do stuff. I feel like we don't have to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what stuff like, that say, people do. <laughs> like say, um, they have to do. They have to go to their job one hour and 30 minutes away because that's what has been offered to them. Yeah. And we were able to create our own opportunities to work Mm -hmm. and, and then refine that even more to be like, okay, you do what you really love in this work and I do what I really love. So I'm super grateful for that because otherwise I'd be probably really, really miserable, (laughs) uh, you know, really, really sad. And feeling unfulfilled all the time, whatever. All right. So if you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? Oh, that's a good Uh, question. If I was able to change how I was raised. Yeah. Probably not being too spoiled and like receiving everything with like if I didn't deserve it or something. Yeah. Mm. You think you were spoiled when you were young? I believe so. Yeah. I feel like... If I were to change how I was raised, probably, hmm, I think, it, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I, I, I don't really know. That's kind of a hard question. You got to have to think back to your childhood. Okay. I will, I will come back to you on that. Okay. Take four minutes and tell your life story and as much detail as possible. Jesus. Is it on time? <laughs> um, well, four minutes. Take two minutes. <laughs> About in life story? Life story. You know what? You guys know our life story. We'll skip that one. Yeah. If you could wake up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability, what would it be? This one's fun. Uh, probably flying. Flying. I think, I think me, transportation. Like Nightcrawler, just be like, poof. Boof. Boof. Uh, that's it that's yeah what I, I mean I it's the same be. thing because i don't have to take the time well, then, to like, well like. <laughs> it's more transportation uh, transporting is a little bit more dangerous because your organs can be lost in what not area. like nightcrawler style <laughs> 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 you just poof <laughs> but if i flew i can guarantee that i'll come in pieces <laughs> Cut in pieces or in one piece oh yeah in one piece all right okay okay <laughs> if a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself your life the future or anything else what would you want to know um success are you gonna be successful is yeah. that what you're saying <laughs> okay um how about you um yeah yeah I mean, the same thing? No. You and- I mean, I guess because it defines what, you know, it depends on your definition of success. Yeah. I feel like I have a lot of success already. So if I could ask a crystal ball. Oh, I would I would want to know, right? If I decided not to have children, what would mm-hmm. that do to my life? <laughs> or okay. if I decided to have children, what would that do to my life? Because I'm always asking myself that question, which I always kind of err on like, Nah, I don't want children, but I would mm-hmm. like to know. So if I could know. Okay. So is there something you've dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? Not for a long time. No, no, I haven't <laughs> thought of I've anything. I've only been here 28 years. <laughs> but the only thing I always want is probably to have a large, uh, company that of some product that I like to sell a product. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I can't think of that product just yet. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I want to develop, um, oh, what I've dreamed of for a long time. I want my own clothing line. (laughs) Yeah. Your own hat. My own hat line. I want want for sure my own hat line of snapbacks. They must be snapbacks. They must be awesome. Mm -hmm. That's a big dream of mine. I've had that since eighth grade. Uh, why haven't I done it? Because it's expensive. (laughs) 
<laughs> That's yeah, why. it's pretty expensive. It's pretty expensive to do like, you know, a little small run, mm-hmm. you know, and all that crap. You know, if, if, uh, if money wasn't an issue, I would just do it for myself. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? The greatest accomplishment? Uh, most typical people would say graduating college. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but for me, <laughs> um, booking my first wedding. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard. There's many, many things. There is many things. There's many things that. Okay, most recent. What was the question? What's the biggest, <laughs> best accomplishment? Biggest. The biggest. <laughs> Most recently, let's say within the year. I would say having us uh, reaching on Huffington Post and um, entrepreneur.com. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I would say um, when we started to do Get in the Lab, when we shook on it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's when I would would say, because that meant that, um, like, we were both on the same page. Oh, I see. Like, things were going to move, finally, right? Mm -hmm. For the for the both of us. Okay. So what does friendship mean to you? Uh friendship means that person is committed. They don't probably I would say they're trustworthy type of person. Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. What friendship means. Obviously. <laughs> what does it mean to you? Uh, the person won't let you down and the yeah. person just keeps on supporting you and giving you positive feedback as well as uh, critical feedback when it's needed mm-hmm. and not lying your face. So yeah. not sugar, coding like, it. yeah, coding anything. Yeah. I would, I would say that I would second that. So what roles do you love, do love and affection play in your life? Um, a lot, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're you're a lot better at that than I am, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe that goes back into how you were raised. Well, um, it's not like I wasn't like loved when I was young, but no. I feel like there, um, I was so like for me, I have no idea why, but I was averse to hugs and like uh-huh. not like not too many hugs. <laughs> uh, well, I think the hugs came in like sixth or seventh grade when everyone was hugging each other for some reason yeah for some reason yeah yeah like you don't say you don't shake hands anymore it's like hugs and i was like that's intimate (laughs) that was just a trend or something yeah yeah i think it it was like popular on like bands or something and they see band members hugging each other and well you know i didn't get out much so maybe that's what i would change about how i was raised like not getting out but that was kind of my own fault because i was super shy okay so Mm. just trying to answer that other question it's kind of weird um okay alternate sharing what sharing something you consider a positive characteristic of the person you're with what alternate sharing something you so consider a positive characteristic exchange? <laughs> <laughs> that's boring okay <laughs> how close and warm was your family do you feel your childhood was happier than most other people's uh, no. i would say no I don't, no. I don't, I don't think I was happy when I was young, but that was my, like a lot of, I think I was in happy in certain occasions, but a lot of my cousins like came over and yeah. we would always hang out and stuff. And that was probably the childhood of my life. Yeah. I feel like it was pretty fun, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. I feel like my parents gave me a lot of opportunity to be happy, but I didn't like take it for some reason. Like hmm. being so introverted, so shy that you're like afraid to like, to, to, like participate yeah like uh yeah i feel that's my own like weirdness but yeah i was just so shy before okay so um how do you feel about your relationship with your mother oh god <laughs> 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 i love my relationship with my mom now yeah i think it's for me and my mom it has always been the same i mean we've been in a tight relationship for a long time yeah yeah well, you still talk to your mom like you're freaking five. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> well, you wouldn't know what that's about. I wouldn't know what yeah. that's about. But and it's hard to describe. I don't yeah. even know myself. Well, when we're talking, like it's just yeah. Yeah, but that's you and your mom. You yeah, know? that's that's like something you share. But that's kind of cool. Like I think uh, uh, my relationship with my mom has evolved, and like mostly because I want to show her I'm like getting older. Mm-hmm. But parents are always going to look at their children like, you are my child. Yeah. Here's a, a whole bunch of oranges and stuff. Especially <laughs> moms. Yeah, especially moms. 
Uh, okay. Make three true we statements for each. For instance, we both in this room, we are both in this room feeling dot, dot, dot. Okay. Weird. Okay. Make, uh, make. We <laughs> just had spaghetti. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, we, um, <laughs> dang, this is harder than I thought. Okay, this is the challenge. We are podcasting right now. <laughs> 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 okay, let's try to make up one last one that's not totally obvious. Okay. Okay, we, um, uh, uh, uh Steve, help us out. <laughs> <laughs> we like food <laughs> we like to answer these 36 questions <laughs> all <you>. right <laughs> we like being here with you guys yeah yeah even though this is incredibly awkward okay um okay complete the sentence i wish i had someone with whom i could share dot 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 i wish i could have someone that i could share my life <laughs> But I'm right here. <laughs> what? Yeah, you have to complete the sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could share something. So somebody you can't share with something. I can't see it. <laughs> Why don't you say it first? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wish I had someone with whom I could share. Um, I wish I could have someone who, with whom I could share my love for video games <laughs> oh, okay i wish i had someone whom i could share <laughs> i don't know okay skip <laughs> next one <laughs> i really don't need to share anything <laughs> okay <laughs> you don't share anything okay if you were going to become a close friend of the person you're with mm -hmm. share what would be important for her or him to know what? <laughs> getting any, these are getting complicated. Skip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell the person you're with what you like about them. Being very honest and saying things that you might not say to someone you just met. Well. I already said everything to you. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I like Megan because she's just, <laughs> she's quirky as you can see. <laughs> Um, she's also very funny when I, uh, first met her and she always makes weird noises. <laughs> That's what <laughs> she was always doing these little in between noises after every sentence or something. I picked that up. I was like, this is pretty cool. <laughs> and she likes video games, even though you don't even, like I don't video like games. video games as much as when I was a kid. Um, but still she kind of reminds me of how me and my cousins would always play like video games and That's it cool. just felt like home um and yeah cool cool okay i like um that you're like uh like all in <laughs> yeah you want to do something it's like all in it's like the fanciest the most expensive is <laughs> you get the whole package and experience yeah. <laughs> when you do something yeah <laughs> when i first met i was like holy crap this is amazing not like uh, you were like ex you're extravagant or something but it seemed extravagant the way the how nice you were Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, um, I remember when I stayed over, but I wasn't living here yet. You would like buy me food, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, here, I got this from Guppies. <laughs> you like it because it's Asian. <laughs> it's a bunch of Asian people. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Share an embarrassing moment in your life. Um, when I fell in the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> When I was rolling my bag the opposite way, yeah, and it caught on someone's seat, and I just fell forward. But the thing is, he fell like like he planked, he planked, and just was lying there straight. Yeah, <laughs> for like that two was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, mm. <laughs> okay, embarrassing. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm like embarrassed all the time. <laughs> I can't think of it. I have to come back. Okay. It's probably when I like farted or something. <laughs> oh. Be like, oh. 
I do okay. that all the time. Yeah, all the time. Even I'm not even embarrassed. No shame. I'm like, ew. Just do it. <laughs> okay, when did you last cry in front of another person by yourself? <laughs> but, what? In front of another person by it, yourself? It's two questions. In, oh. in front of another person <laughs> like, and by yourself. <laughs> I just cried today. I was thinking about my grandma and I was sad. Oh. Uh, I, pr- I don't know when. Mm. Probably sometime last year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell the person you're with something you already like about them. I like your hair when it's done. Okay. It's weird right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, if anything... Oh, you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> yeah, well, what you like about me. <laughs> so quick, you moved on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what you like about me? <laughs> <laughs> when your hair... When it's, it's done... done. <laughs> I like when really you put those big gigantic rolls. No, I don't have that anymore. Yeah. You got, oh, sh- it's got bright. Yeah. Steve, are we good? Are we overexposed? Are we too bright? Is my face too white? Kevin's got the water. Oh, okay. Probably. <laughs> okay. All right, whatever. We'll black and white it right now. Okay. Uh, okay. What, if anything, is too serious to be joked about? Um... Well, it's too serious to be joked about. Like, maybe I'm thinking too hard now. <laughs> this, is, this question is too serious to be joked about. Okay. Uh, too serious to be joked about? Probably like fam- your, family stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Probably Anything like your family? parents. Yeah. Parents. Yeah. Like, you don't joke. <laughs> yeah. You just let it be. Like, that. why did your parents raise you yeah. like this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, that's a little deep. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay, so yeah. You ask should them. Not be true, but yeah, ask them. I don't know. I think I turned out all right. <laughs> all right, if you die this evening without mm-hmm. the opportunity to communicate with anyone, yeah. what would you most <laughs> regret? Let me finish. Not having told someone, why haven't you told them yet? All right. If you, huh. if you died and you didn't get to tell somebody something. Well, I'm not keeping anything. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, this probably goes to other people, but I, I think I try very, very hard but not I, to if keep. If I do have a hidden treasure, yeah, I'll tell someone. <laughs> like, that's why I'll regret. Yeah, where's like, your hidden damn treasure? It. I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, you guys, you have a hidden treasure. I know it. Yeah. You going to tell me? Mm, yeah. <laughs> 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 your house containing everything you own catches fire. After saving your loved ones and pets, you have time to make one final dash to save one item. What would it be? Why? You can answer that first. Oh, my God. My PS4. (laughs) My cameras. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a good one. Cameras. (laughs) My iMac. Oh, man. Yeah. And my hidden treasure. Hidden treasure. (laughs) Oh, snap. Well, I'll depend on you to get all the cameras. Collectible shoes. (laughs) Um, I'll just break that window and start (laughs) tossing everything out the window. What? Your shoes? You wouldn't get your iMac? No. What? That shit's like 2010. (laughs) (laughs) What about the memory? What about all the memory uh, thingies? Um, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably get the memories. Yeah. Memory. uh, What do you call it? Hard drive. Hard drive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Of all the people in your family, whose death would you find most disturbing? Most disturbing. God, my parents? Yeah, it has Jeez. to be the parents. This is so personal. <laughs> or um, anyone that is within the immediate family. Probably probably my sister? Yeah, immediate. Worse than your fa- uh worse than your parents? I don't know, but like, you know, they're both They're both equally? Yeah. Yeah. All right, share a personal problem and God, ask. Why is this about so, death? It's so into. God. That's why you fall in love because it's so deep. Yeah, <laughs> you're like God. Okay, mm-hmm. share a personal problem and ask for advice on how the person you're with would handle it. Also, ask the person you're with to reflect back on how you seem to be fa- feeling about the problem you have chosen. This is the last question. It's all mm. hardcore and complicated. Yeah. If I had a pimp on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> what would I do about it? I'd be like, don't poke it with a damn needle and try to like, I'd be telling you that all the time, man. <laughs> Even though I try to do that like right here. <laughs> <laughs> man. 
<laughs> okay. Um, seriously, well, you have a personal problem? You got a personal problem? Yeah, my personal problem is <laughs> not <laughs> being able to look at this damn camera. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my advice to you would be don't care about the camera. You're just talking to me. Yeah. Okay. But you never do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my personal problem is uh, is getting out more and being less anxious. Um, Just turn the music on. <laughs> <laughs> Very good music that you love to listen to. Okay. And make sure you spent probably two hours in the bathroom prior to... <laughs> Uh, us taking a long trip somewhere. Yeah. It's been two hours. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most useless no, advice. I'm joking. <laughs> but eat a good meal probably a week before our trip. Okay. And okay. keep consistent with it and uh, maintain that. Um, even, I feel like even when I do that, I'm still having anxious then, problems. And go to my other solution was to listen to really good music that you like to sing to. Okay. Well, thank because you. Because that normally helps. I will take your advice on that. Yeah. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That wasn't all the six, 36 questions, mm-hmm. but you get the idea because, you know, we kind of got cut off in the beginning. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. It's just a little fun episode. Sometimes we like mm-hmm. to mix it up on here and get in the lab. And uh, sometimes getting in the lab means, you know, not being business serious all the time. And uh, I think it was good for us because we had time to sit down. Finally, I I feel like I haven't seen you in a little bit. Yeah. And talk to you and only uh, in the digital world. <laughs> <laughs> Even when we're I'm just upstairs, we we're still texting each other. So uh-huh. it's good to have this like kind of ease back into it episode where we get to laugh a mm-hmm. little bit. And uh, I want to remind you lab rats to laugh a little bit and check out these questions. Kind of cool. Even if you are already in a relationship like we are. Uh, it'll be fun to maybe sit down at, at night and ask these questions of each other and have fun with it like we did. So, uh, good things. We'll see you next week on the Get in the Lab podcast. Once again, my name's Megan. I'm Kevin. Reminding you to get in the lab. We're out. We out. Peace. Late. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs>